Hello everyone, welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, last time we were in size uh, and we had just um, completed uh, a bunch of side quests for Harkoof. And uh, we are ready to uh, make our way slowly but surely towards Letopolis. Got my coffee ready. So let's uh, go. Alright, uh, there is a side quest right by. I, th I believe, if I remember correctly, this is the uh, the culmination of all the um, smaller. Uh... Oh, I received the uh, the jackal, a legendary scepter. Don't quite know why, or why I didn't get it last time. Why it unlocked. Yeah, so the scepters have uh, uh, usually have combo multipliers. I don't really like them, but this is a good weapon now. Well, I mean, it just did 12 more damage. Maybe I'll stick to the sword. It has health on... Oh, both have health on hit. Yeah. Critical hit rate. Yeah. yeah. I'll, uh, I'll use the, uh, the scepter. My favorite weapon type would have to be the sword, I guess. Um, the daggers are also pretty nice, but um, I usually don't use them. Bayak. It was the Fetu. They took Akuf. I know what they will do. Torture him with red pot tongs, perhaps rip his tongue out, then kill him with a burning dagger to the heart. Prisons of Fort Nikio. Wait. They thought I was dead and tossed me in the well. I crawled through corpses and escaped by an underground stream to the river. A secret entrance. She's talking about. All right. So uh, Harkouf was captured by Sefetu's forces and taken to Fort Nikio. Bayek must rescue him. Well, of course he must. Jessica tells Bayek that Sefetu's forces have raided Saiz and taken Harkouf, taken Harkouf prisoner. He will be tortured and killed. Bayek must find a way into Fort Nikio to free him. All right. So, yeah, as you've probably seen, if you've uh, followed this playthrough, the uh, side quests usually uh, point us in the direction of the main quest, so this is no different. Oh, actually, right quick, let's just uh, go uh, pick up um, Reda's uh, daily quest. As always, we won't bother to go out of our way to complete them, but um, yeah, if it's an easy quest, we'll just do it. Why not? But what can we do? I will not put words between your teeth. I am going to pack my things and travel to Litopolis. Master Tahaka is... Control Lucius, this is um, just to kill some animals. Ah, it's on our way. You are lucky to have no wife or children. You can just leave. Sefetu has given them a long leash. All they do is take advantage of us.
Fort Nikiu. This is a very big fort. Uh, if you look at the um, the icon on the compass of, at the top, it, um, this location has three spears, and the number of spears indicates the uh, the size of the fort. So three spears uh, are the biggest ones. I don't know exactly how many of these there are in the game, but I believe this is the first one. Anyway, there's just a handful of them, so... And uh, maybe I shouldn't say it, but uh, we'll try to do it stealthily. <laughs> like every time I've s said that before, it's gone to shit right away. But, uh, yes, you must be careful. Meaning I must be careful. As always, we'll uh, try to clear out the perimeter first. Being careful as we do so. Maybe I'll lure him into the bushes. There's another one I almost missed. Didn't see you. be a little bit more careful with my eagle uh, tagging make sure I get everyone so let's see um, yeah we have 16 out of 78 um, viewpoints synchronized so sinu sinus perception is getting better it's markedly better but um, yeah when we max out this perception we can just do just go like this whoosh and we've scanned basically everything I'm exaggerating a little bit, but uh, it just feels so much better when it's all upgraded. Actually, do we have a better predator bow now? Maybe? This one's level 22, I'm level 24. Yes, we do. We have the same one, just a better version. And why don't we equip that? Anyway, we can whittle them down a, a little bit from afar. Hello, Atomic. How are you? We're just busy uh, killing innocent soldiers. Just on guard duty. I imagine some of them uh, are just a few days away from retirement. Did I unlock Enhanced Predator Bow? I think I did, didn't I? I did. Then we don't have to be... Then we can allow ourselves to be a little bit more creative with our kills. shield is, isn't better than what we have. Never mind. You saw nothing.
Let's do be a bit careful. So far, at least, uh, we haven't been spotted. And it's really satisfying to uh, clear an, an entire big fort without being detected. I'm actually not sure if I've ever done it before. So this might be a first. I probably have, but uh, I don't remember. I usually screw up and... Uh, yeah, li like that. That was <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> yeah, there's the secret entrance that Jessica was talking about. I'm well, but can't stay. I just wanted to say hi whilst on a short break. Okie dokie, much appreciated. You are welcome anytime. I've noticed that myself actually when I'm just joining different streams. I it's seldom that I have an hour or so. I'm usually just uh, yeah, I got like five minutes to fifteen minutes, something like that. Sometimes I have a, a bit more time and then I'll stay for longer. Oh, I shouldn't just chat. I need to pay attention. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh well. Can't win them all. <clears throat> There's always next time. I didn't get him. See, there's catch legs in this uh, game. He's just too curious, and we all know what they say about curious cats. They get stabbed in the neck. Let's sabotage the uh, brassiere. No, brassiere is something else, isn't it? I mean bra brazier. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Do I need to tag some more enemies, maybe? Yeah, I'll just tag some of these guys too. Why not?
Oh, the headshot didn't do it. We'll be most definitely be detected now, I think. Or maybe not. Boom headshot, as they say. Alright, we were detected twice so far. That's not too bad. I really do want to clear out an entire big fort sometime during this uh, playthrough. Seems like we've made our rounds. So I'm not that dedicated to uh, staying completely stealthy. I mean, if I'm detected, I'll just fight and then um, go back to being stealthy. This looks like, a, like an important throne. Oh, damn it. He's on his way up to where he last saw me. Want any more surprises? <laughs> An 
I need me some more sleep lodge. <clears throat> Oh, and I didn't notice I've got uh, some more upgrading thing to do. Melee damage. Sure thing. I have the key here. Did you kill that clod of shit? Come on. Come on! Come quickly. Oh yeah, we got the key. I have to do the key taking from around Sefetu's neck. Oh, we killed Sefetu. That's right. <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, if you go to Harkoof before killing Sefetu, yeah, um, Harkoof basically tells you he can't get out of there. And then you need to kill him and uh, get the key. But I thought there was a little bit of dialogue when you killed Sefetu. But obviously I misremember, or I didn't pay enough attention. Da! <laughs> yeah, I should have cl climbed a little bit higher. I always forget you can actually dodge even though you're charging up your shield. <laughs> Apparently I escorted him out, but uh, I just cl cleared out enough enemies that he made it out by himself. Uh, oh yeah, I should pick up some um, arrows or sleeping darts and such. <laughs> so this last guy is a captain and he's uh, really dangerous. I'll try to get a stealth attack on him first before fighting him. Let's do try to get the combo up on him. Oh, 
right. Harkoof, here we come. Let's have a chit chat. Oh, look at that beautiful sunset. So nice. Oh, can we upgrade something? Did we save for anything? I do want Bow Fury and uh, I really want Elite Ranger. However, are they priorities? That's the question. Yeah, we want Flesh Decay uh, because we're playing stealthily. It'll help so a little bit of chaos in camps. Air attack, we want we do want that. Yes, I think I will save for uh, Elite or uh, Bow Fury. Well, maybe Elite Ranger. We can get to that now since we got Enhanced Predator Bow. Yeah, I'm gonna save for save two more ability points. Thank you, my friend. Apollodorus was right to bring you in. You honor the badge you wear. Come visit us if you ever get the chance. May Happy watch over you and ensure your beer cup ever overflows. I need to get back. May Happy ensure your beer cup never runs dry. I need to get back. All right, Harkoof. I need to get back. May Happy ensure your beer cup never runs. All right, let's uh, activate the new quest. The closest one is uh, the Scarab Slice, of course. Uh, and I don't think we've left behind any uh, quests, but uh, we did almost miss this uh, Statue of Ptolemy. Let's go get it real quick. Let's go high chaos, why not? Right, I will let him actually light the braziers, um, just so we can experience what happens when he does.
All right, that wasn't too bad. You see how uh, damaging smoke bombs are useful? Yeah, just flattens them, everybody. It, it might be cheesing it a little bit, but uh, hey, it's a game mechanic, so why not use it? All right. Where to next? These ruins, I think, are uh, is a ritual site for uh, taste the first thing. Let's go check it out. And it is. Look what we have here. What do you all think this is? I'm betting it's a uh, I dare you to letter. No, it isn't. Okay. Scrap of journal. I managed to bring most of the sunken valuables here, out of reach of bandits. I promised myself I wouldn't dive in again. I've gone twice already. But there's something about that sunken chest that haunts my every waking moment. Call it the fool's errand, but I'm going in, going in again. One last time. One last time. Towerette, uh, do you keep your children at bay? Interesting. Let's investigate. Prayer to Sirket. I speak for the goddess, and the goddess speaks through me. She sits upon my tongue, and my sting is her sting. Her face is the scorpion, and snake, and spider, and I wear her mark. I take her name, for mine was a dull, rusty thing. I think we read this before. Yeah, this is the same as... Um, isn't it the same? No, it looks no, it's a little bit different, I think. Um, I take her name, for mine was a dull, rusty thing. I do her honor, in hopes that she will show me the mysteries. I speak for the goddess, and you speak for me. The mysteries of the gods are held beyond the door, contained within the secrets of the body. We must call together facets of the four gods. Sehmet, mistress of, mistress of the desert. Serapis, lord of tran transition. Sobek, lord of the Nile and Horus, Lord of the Sky. Their followers will be initiated into our order in their holy places. We will share their knowledge and drink of their wisdom. We call, upon, we call upon Sir Ket, who holds the breath and delivers the poison. We bring priests of the four gods to their sacred places, and we give them the glorified rites to meet Sir Ket, in her place of power beneath her heavenly sign. Their powerful divine organs contain the secrets of divinity. We, we sacrifice them to appease the goddess of magic and medicine. Sirket, Selkwet, Selkit, goddess of scorpion and snake and spider, we give you the sacred organs of the lesser priests as offering. Sirket, Selk Selkit, Selkit, we perform this rite, these rites in the shadow of your stone circle, in the caves beneath your stars. Oh, so this is telling us uh, also something. Yeah, these are the four... Um, the four... Um, Ritual sites. So you can actually find them. I didn't realize this before, but you can actually find them by by decoding uh, this poem. 
Circuit, 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 hold your breath until we see the light of divinity, and then return our breath to us to bring your words to this earthly realm. Circuit, 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 imbue us with your burning wrath, and keep us safe in our explorations of your mysteries. I suspect the sarcophagus was transported by cart. It is inscribed to the mark of circuit, the scorpion goddess. But where is the body? Someone came here with a heavily laden cart, and left the same way. Though the second track looks lighter. All right, let's go follow those tracks momentarily. Let's uh, see what's down here. Yes, you are prepared for the afterlife by a clumsy butcher with no thumbs. Where's your liver? This happened recently, and the cart may not have traveled far. There may be more to this mystery nearby. Those responsible should not be allowed to do this again. All right, that was actually the second to last one. But um, we might went, venture into uh, Karkem Gnome. Um, oh yeah, actually I remember one of these uh, side quests uh, actually takes us over here anyway. So, But we will hold off on um, Heracleon Gnome and Imkent Gnome. But for now, let's... Uh, Follow these tracks. <coughs> Let's just in ignore those hippos. No, we will not ignore them actually. We do need crafting materials. Yeah, I don't re remember these tracks actually leading anywhere. Anyway, let's go grab this treasure and um, synchronize with that viewpoint. lion didn't stand a chance a structure report i've spent the better half of the day examining the horus watchtower and i have okay. maybe i should just clear up the lions before i start reading again Anyway, um, uh, I spent the better half of the day examining the Horus Watchtower, and I have to say that I am very troubled by the lack of rigor that was put into its construction. Someone is bound to get hurt or even killed if nothing is done to solidify the structure. It makes me miss my time working for Chief Nito uh, of Lutopolis, 
<clears throat> at least she had true construction standards. I'll double up the support beams tomorrow just to be sure. Now I'm no structural engineer but doesn't this tower look okay? I don't know. Oh, actually, let's just... Uh, there was one more papyrus we could do. Uh, not this one. Yeah, this one, the north of Latopolis Temple. This is in Sapires. North of the Latopolis Temple, which is around here. So north of it would be, I think it would be over here. I actually don't quite remember this, but there was an, another one. Oh yeah, in the center of Sapme, uh, hidden in a canyon near Anthilla, there is a tree that thinks it's unique, and there's a nearby rock bridge, yes. So the Antilla outpost, that is that one. And this is the, yeah, this is the location, the crocodile there. Yeah, let's go grab this right quick. So let's see, there's the rock bridge, and there's a tree which is different from all the others. I always forget which one it is. Yeah, it must be this one. There we go. We got a um, rare shield. Which we might actually equip. So we are sacrificing poison on block. But I don't, I almost don't block anyway. And we get uh, more HP and range resistance and fire resistance. Yeah. No question. At least until our next upgrade run. And let's see, what about these? No, we are not ready to go to the Katara Depression. Not at all. We are doing fairly well for um, gear at the moment. So that's okay. Oh. 
let's just check out this location. This is a uh, camp of some kind. Military camp. And we'll stealth this, won't we? Yeah. Ah, they awaken, of course, when they're hit. <laughs> oh, damn. That's probably what hit me. Nope, not any luck for you. I am afraid. Alright, let's uh, travel to Letopolis. I think Letopolis is a really pretty city in its own way, half buried in the desert. But apparently Taharka is trying to uh, do something about that. Do they stop to check out the bodies? No. Ah, then I won't chase them. Let's see, how are we doing for upgrade materials? We need more iron. Yeah, I think iron might be one of the bottlenecks now. We have a ton of uh, hard leather, so we don't have to be that obsessed with killing every hippo and uh, crocodile we see. Yeah, and pelts. Oh, soft leather. And pelts, pelts and soft leather. So pelts, soft leather, and um, what did I say? Iron. So let's sort of just. Uh, Keep to the outskirts of Letopolis. So you can see the farthest buildings are uh, almost swallowed up by the desert. And there is the temple. But we first uh, will first go to, to Tarka's house. Let's explore the, um, how do you say, the um, harbor. Oh, 
Are you a Magi? Yes, I am. Father told me there were no Magi left. Are you a dream? <laughs> no, not a dream. But I'm the last Magi. My father took me to the stone circle across the river. We watched the stars come out. A black cloak speckled with gold dust. We watched the map of the heavens. And he told me to whisper my dreams to Lady Circuit. What do you dream of? I dreamed I would like to be a Magi one day, like you. Anything is possible in this world, if the gods will it. Oh, interesting. Remember the letter we um, read in the last um, ritual site? It talked about a stone circle nearby the uh, nearby the r last ritual site. Hmm. Across the river. We won't go there just yet. You look like a traveler. I've seen some of the world. Have you been to the ruins of the old temple across the river? I'm sure it holds lost wonders. Is that so? If I was braver, I would cross the river and see for myself. But I have too much to do here. One day, perhaps, you will fulfill your curiosity. Hmm. He also points points us ac across the river. Uh. But okay, let's uh, climb up and activate the uh, fast travel point here. I just love the um, Egyptian architecture and hieroglyphics and uh, yeah, just the entire aesthetics of uh, these cities. Hello, Steve. How are you? Do you prefer just Steve or Stevie Sealed? Steve is fine. All right, then. I suppose that is your name as well. <laughs> All right, let's go meet Taharka. Master Taharka, my name is Bayek from Siwa. I am indeed Taharka. Grand Planner of Saïs and Steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. Your son is 
very proud of your work. He misses you. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. It is no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the scarab, Tahaka? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law. What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods for me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again. Bayek, come fight with me. That wind. All right, I do want to uh, use the sword, even though it's a few levels below me. So I don't know, Steve, how invested you are in um, the story of Assassin's Creed Origins, but uh, uh, just an update: we uh, were done in size, and uh, we made our way down to Letopolis. We finally met Taharka. And we are hunting someone called the Scarab, who we don't know anything about. Other than he's using the great deserts of Egypt as his, his personal graveyard. Desert storms use <clears> the storm <throat> as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their raids. Stay close to me! Do not let these curse surround you! I will not let you destroy my great work! Let's make quick work of them. Bayek gets transported within his own lifeline of ancestors. That's about all I know. Uh, yeah, you sort of got it right. We actually play as someone in the modern day, uh, someone called um, Laila Hassan in this particular game. And we use a machine to uh, relive his memories. By X memories, that is. You only know that from watching Dutch. Yeah. Now well, you can glean a little bit from um, the lore by watching people play, I guess. Alright, nice work. Nice work, random NPC. You face the greatest of Egypt! In any case, uh, Steve, I do uh, appreciate you watching, even though this might not be totally your cup of tea. <laughs> Show them the teeth of justice! 
God damn it. Sometimes the lock-on mechanics in this game are a bit finicky. They made it better in Odyssey. I come to support my friends, plus makes me feel less lonely. Ah, that's nice. Sometimes it's just nice to have a stream on in the background and listen to people talking. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's sort of what I do when I join your stream. Uh, I'm not really that interested in modeling, but um, I love watching or listening to people who are passionate about something when they're doing it. Um, which re reminds me, um, like five years ago, I randomly joined... Um, uh, I don't know what it's called in, in English. Uh, like when you when you bind flies for fly fishing, um, and I tried my hand at it, making flies and trying to fish with them. I didn't catch any fish, and I gave it up because it wasn't a hobby for me. But the social aspect of it was really nice, and it's cool being taught by somebody who uh, uh, fishing group. Yeah, being taught by somebody who really knows their stuff. <clears throat> I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka, but these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about the scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Medjai that you wear? These rivers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Paik. And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your cause for today. Right, let's just follow Taharka. See where he goes. He wants revenge on uh, on the bandits who are attacking the populace. Take up your iron and join us, brave loyal servants of the populace. We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand. Yeah, all right, let's go. Drive these fuckers back into the desert. This task you have put yourself to, it seems impossible. <laughs> Only the gods can know that for sure, Bai. And if I do not reach for the stars, how will I know how close I can get? Metropolis was a wonder once. Before the desert overtook it. I mean to show the world, to show the gods, that men can conquer anything if they put their minds to it. Perhaps you have been sent by the gods to help me realize my vision. A strong arm, a keen eye. We could restore this land to glory. I have my own great work ahead of me. <laughs> we shall see if I cannot convince you. I love um, Tarkas. Um energy, the way he delivers his speech, uh, and the way he, he just wants to conquer the desert and build build a city uh, uh, at an impossible place, um, which reminds me of something, which 
probably reminds other gamers of uh, the Bioshock series. Speaking of um, building uh, building towns in impossible places. <clears throat> And we enter the Ineb Hejet gnome. Let's read about it real quick. Uh, Ineb Hejet is the white wall gnome, referring to the splendor of its neighbor, Memphis, uh, which uh, where we will eventually travel. Memphis is a big city. So let's do our best to tag as many enemies inside the cave as we can. A little bit hard when you don't have x-ray vision, but never mind. Have they already begun fighting? All right. If you go to Memphis, say hi to Elvis. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I think I missed your last message. You tried to join the model railway club, but it was a bit too serious for me. I wanted to learn new skills bit by... Uh, but they just sort of looked down on me, so I left after a few weeks. Oh yeah, they were maybe being a little bit elitist, I guess. And we will attack on sight here. So, we're even, haha. <laughs> Stand in the way of my arrows, please. Yeah, we can loot a little bit while uh, the others do the fighting. Who have these cultists caged? Please, Ned, if you have any decency in your heart, free me. Stay here. Mm. Wait until it is safe and someone will free you. You have my word. Let us free the prisoner. Let's see in this chamber. Yeah. You're free. My thanks to you, Bayek. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Who are they? blood fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to this garab? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrion eaters. And now they will feed the scab. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. May Ta bless you and the protector saving me, Master Dark. How did you end up here? I was kidnapped by these blood-crazed raiders. I thought the road from Memphis to Litopolis was safe. It is now, and I will ensure it stays so. You say you came from Memphis. Memphis is home to many priests. They do not need me there, but Letopolis is fertile ground, planted by your hard work. How are things in Memphis? I must admit, Memphis is under a shadow. The high priest angered the gods, 
and is cursed to see the doom of the city. Your messengers reached Memphis, singing of your vision of tomorrow. I have come here to serve the gods. Once you are rested, we will make a home for you in Metropolis. All right, so that's what we call foreshadowing. Anyway, we have been going for a little bit over an hour, so um, I'll stream a little bit more, but I'll end the uh, Let's Play section here. So uh, we um, uh, we did the last side quest in size before making our way towards Letopolis, uh, exploring some on the way. Um, and we entered Letopolis and uh, met Taharka and uh, followed him on a li little bit of his own revenge quest, uh, driving out the bandits from his city of Letopolis. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.